Hi there, it's David Geldart of Lumacrest Lighting Solutions. Today we're just going to talk about beam angle. One of the great things about LED lights is that they give you a lot of flexibility even within the same light of choosing different beam spreads. There's always been different beam spreads. You've had spotlights and floodlights basically forever in addition to of course the light bulb that shines all directions. Um, but uh, LEDs just give you a little bit more opportunity and with these LEDs especially we have the opportunity to even change the lens if you want to alter that for special reasons. So understanding which is the best choice of lens is a little bit tricky and the best way is to just see it. So what I've got here is a 20 degree lens, a 38 degree lens and a 60 degree lens. 28 degree lens is a spot, pretty tight spot. 20 degrees. This is 38 degrees, which is medium. And over here we have a 60 degree, which is wide. I'll try to put these things the same distance apart. So you can see 20 degree is very, very focused. 60 degree is very wide. I'm only maybe about two feet away from the surface. Um, so obviously the light's going to spread that much more when you get further away. And let's look at that on a painting just now. If we chose a 60 degree lens, you see that the light doesn't appear to be intense enough, but the light is being spread over such a huge area that it appears that we've lost intensity. So if we're, if we're looking at a specific piece of work like a painting, um, essentially that's, uh, that's a, a kind of spotlighting because we're trying to illuminate a specific object. If we're trying to illuminate the entire room, usually what you want is a 60 degree lens because if you have a narrow beam lens uh, and the light's coming from the ceiling, you're going to get little pools of light and the entire room will not be fully equally illuminated. So those are kind of the rules of thumb. Uh, if you're trying to get intense focus on smaller objects, then you're gonna go for narrower beams. If you want general illumination, probably you want 60 degrees if in doubt, start with 38 and you can buy some extra lenses. If you've got a, if you're, it's an art gallery and we're changing, then you can change out the lens. Um, if you have large pieces or small pieces, you can actually alter this optic for maximum flexibility.